Hello, and uh, this is a final video about this name audio um, CD3. The reason I'm bothering you with this is that there, is, there was a very unusual and strange fault with it. Uh, those who have seen the, the previous video would know that it worked fine after recapping and putting a mechanism from a donor machine, but the CD would still wobble. It would wobble, it would work, pass all the tests, but it just wasn't quite right. So, well, if the CD wobbles, you'd think that it is a spindle that's crooked, right? Well, I put three different motors in there, and I have a spare CDM9, and it just still was doing it. So, what was the outcome? Well, the outcome was that the turntable, the little bit of plastic that sits on the spindle, somehow the slot in it must have been not perfectly vertical and it would just wobble it. Now after that, let me put the original pack in, Okay, let us play, you know, our torture, this is track number eight. Okay, where's the play button? There. Okay. And you might think that this is, oh, you see, it plays fine. We'll do the 15. And you say that this is not all that perfect. Well, it is. If you look at the side, the CD is absolutely perfectly stable and what you what you're seeing here is just a puck not sitting well if you push a puck properly to sit in its place perfectly central it actually doesn't wobble at all so so that's that's what it was and and of course it um, it plays anything, any CD, and it plays the uh, a 90 minute one that I have here. So um, you know, it, it it it's fixed. But you know, people always say replace laser if the CD player doesn't work. Um, well, it's hardly ever a laser. It, it 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 almost never is, and and most often, what it is is limit switches and belts. Now, why do I like this player so much? I like it because it has neither. It has no limit switches because you see in here there's a magnet and there's a reed switch there. So when the drawer is closed it knows that it is without having mechanical micro switch. So that's, that's good engineering. And of course, uh, there's no belts because this is CDM9. There's no belts here. There's a you know swing arm, you know, in there. So um, that's it. There's nothing here to wear out. The only thing that is one that was maybe those four capacitors there because they're just too close to the regulator. So that's all folks, uh, just another thing that, uh, that you can see that, um, that can get worn out. I, sadly, I ap apologize for this, <laughs> I dropped the remote control and uh, that's why I cannot show that it actually um, goes to full 90 minutes. This is 90 minutes CDR and, and uh, this track is 7 minutes long, the last one, track 11. So. So that's sort of 79 minutes, and, and that's a CDR which is not perfectly flat, but you see, it doesn't have the wobble that the other one did, that, well, that it had before. So that's all, that's um, another one fixed. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.